This is from the LSD jam. Soda Raptor Entertainment. Dream Station. Created for LSD Jam 2020. I believe this was then further developed. This game contains flashing lights and... What did it say? Something imagery? Anyway, it's, um, weird imagery. Unsettling. Okay. Well, it's called Hypnagogia. And, uh, it, it seems like one of them things. Post Jam version point two. And, um, if you haven't seen me play, or if you haven't played yourself, LSD Dream Emulator, it's a pretty popular, um, just series of dreams that were turned into, uh, levels in a PlayStation 1 game. It's a kind of a cult classic. I love it. I've streamed it. And I've played a lot of games based on it. And this is one of those games. So let's check this one out. Dream Hub. Hi, I'm Goji. Welcome to the Dream Hub, or Gagi. You can view controls or leave the hub from the pause menu using tab or start if you're using a controller. There's one bright red crystal in each dream. They may be hard to find, so look everywhere and talk to everyone. Also, things may get weird or surreal later. These are dreams, after all. If something really weird happens, though, be sure to let the dev know. Anywho, you'll probably be seeing me around. I'll activate the first pillar for you. Catch you later. Smell you later! Second, Faces of Evil is still open. Okay, now it's good. Just wanted to make the game a little bit louder. Um, so yeah, I don't know- Oh, Is everything breathing? Well, it's like, uh, you know, obviously, it's a take on what PS1 looked like, but it's not quite that accurate. I'm just wondering, is everything around me? Pulsating, or is my head and eyes pulsating? What a warm, fuzzy feeling I have right now. Sometimes it's the smallest things in life that you need that need most of your attention or need your most attention. The cats here will be happy to see a new face. Hope you brought some treats. Anyways, tell them Goji said hi. Greetings, traveler. We've been expecting you. Please visit our temple and speak with the Elder Cat. It sits to the east on top of the hill. You can't miss it. I don't know, it just devolved into, like, Scouse. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know the differences between most of the regional accents. Welcome to our sanctuary, traveler. It's an honor to have you here. We hope you find peace and comfort within our walls. Please stay as long as you'd like. You are a pleasant sight for an old cat. Don't mind me, just keeping the grounds clean. If you wish to speak with our elder, he is inside. <laughs> the world is breathing. Cat monks. They're meditating. Best leave them undisturbed. So this was based on someone's dream, I think. Oh. Okay, that that's like real cat. Big. It is. Apparently it is. We have many leather-bound books here. And our temple smells of rich mahogany. We don't... Why don't you stay for, and rest for a while? 
Welcome to our sacred tower, Restful One. Your presence is of the highest honor to us. Now to business. I wish to make a trade with you. I haven't eaten all day and I grow very hungry. The monks are too busy to help me, but you look up to the task. Bring me a fish with which to eat, and I will reward you. Hurry now, I'll be waiting here. Vinny, do you feel your allergies are getting worse? I feel like they're getting better. They just have been showing up every now and then, and then I get sniffly. I mean, I am playing a game with cats in it right now, so allergies. Probably not enjoying the cats. There's like water here. Do you know where I can find some fish? I keep a small bundle of fish for snacking when I get hungry. Take a look under the ramp leading towards the temple. Feel free to take as much as you like. I have plenty spare. Lab of the dev and the discord they're in streams. They describe the background of each of them in the readme. Oh, cool. That's a smart idea for more dream material. Just like take an entire community's worth of dreams. There's some fish here. The elder would find this satisfactory. You take the whole bundle. They're pungent and slimy. You're barely able to hold them all. I have not had any interesting dreams lately that I remember. Maybe a couple of like recurring locations, but I can't think of them. I wrote them down when I when I remembered them, but I don't I don't have them. I'm sorry. Okay, so delicious. Thank you for your offering, kind traveler. I will honor my end of the bargain and grant you passage. Please ascend the steps above to the top of our temple. What you find there will help you in your journey. Good fortune to you and take care, Mrowl. No! Chill game leads to Vinny screaming. A cat forming game. Oh. You should submit your dreams for Games Vin, aka Blood Skeleton. I actually did have. <clears throat> I sent those dreams to. I don't know, my voice got like that for a second. But um, my dreams were being worked on, they were being turned into like some. something by a couple different people. It's not often we get to see a sunrise as beautiful as this one. Take a moment to breathe, relax those shoulders, stretch. The scenery below is just an added bonus to our rest our weary eyes on. Take good care of yourself and others will appreciate it. You and others will appreciate it. I bet like nice mountain air would be good for my allergies. Did you know this game was made by one person for the 2020 LSD Game Jam? Dev spent a total of 26 days finalizing the code, art, and animations. They worked from October 30th through November 25th for nearly eight hours a day. It's a little humble brag. Bit of a draft way up here, huh? Wouldn't you agree? Sometimes I forget to stop and breathe a little. In a world full of problems, the soft sound of wind calms us all. You'll be fine, just don't look down. Oh, 
Part of me wants to, uh, I should probably get the readme open, hang on. Part of me wants to know, like, because I find this stuff interesting. So, for example, the cat world dream. This world came about more from a recurring dream I have every so often, rather than a specific one. Occasionally, I'll run into my cat, Morty. Morty! <clears throat> while dreaming of outside places, such as fields, parks, or my backyard. Um, dream World 2, The Sky. This world was inspired by a dream I had one night that involved me walking around a very high up and brightly lit place where the floors were all made of shiny glass. I kept hearing wind chimes or melodic clinging randomly throughout the dream, and there was a big statue set in the middle. So, stuff like that. Are you up here because you have lots of worries, too? I like it because it lets me clear my head and finally think. Reading the inscriptions of our immaculately carved statues helped me relax, too. There's a slight spoiler on the readme. Okay, I'll, I'll try to be careful, then. I haven't seen it yet. was hugely respected and greatly praised God. Clouds are so underappreciated, just look at them. They're majestic chariots of air, water, and lightning. Sometimes so delicate, yet so deadly. It's rather humbling. You need, like, a good one-syllable name if you're gonna be a god. Like, God. Or Zeus. Or... Skok. Blog. Clart. There you go. Clart is a good one. Juice. Is greatly esteemed and hugely obeyed God. Jim. Jim the God. Welcome to my Sky Palace. You seem pretty far from home, am I right? Unfortunately, if you wish to proceed, you must face a challenge. You must fight me to the death in a battle of epic epic proportions. I'm kidding. What would I even do? Just float and chime? Not much of a threat, huh? What I can do, however, is show you the way home. Just talk to my brother over yonder. He looks like me, only smaller. Are you John God? I'm not normally a fan of big heights. It gives me the chills. Flying this high would be dangerous in any other circumstance. There's a bellowy pillow of clouds under us, though, so that's nice, at least. Isn't the mind a beautiful place to escape to? There's no limits here. You're free to do whatever you want. It's a bit frightening being given so much power, don't you think? Right now, I'm racing robot jaguars on the moon. Okay. I assume you've spoken to my older brother back there. He likes a good joke from time to time, as you can guess. Anyways, the path behind me takes you deeper into the dream. I'll open it for you. Under one condition. Guess the correct answer to my riddle. Before you are four statues of gods long past. The question is, which of these divine beings' principal elements are answers, riddles, and life? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh, uh... Um. No, it was- it was Mildir. Yeah, it was- it was Mildir- the first one. Believe the best answers to life's questions were solved through riddles. Very good, you've done your homework. Or was that a lucky guess? Either way, my word is my bond. We always appreciate visitors, so come see us and our beautiful statues again. I- well, I guessed wrong first, but then... You know, I got another chance. 
Did you know, there may be secrets hidden here and throughout the dreams you explore. I heard a good way to find them is to look for walls with significantly different textures. Someone even told me of an entire secret world hidden within one of the later dreams. Crustures. From the top of infinity to as deep as deep can go, this flowing weightlessness is a comforting blanket. Let the water take you where it needs to and enjoy the ride. I like this one. I've been down here a long time and managed to collect quite a few trinkets. The only thing I can stop I can't stop thinking about is owning a nice big crusty anchor. <laughs> Maybe I could interest you in helping me look for one. In exchange, I'll set you up with one of my most prized possessions. Let me know when you found an, an anchor. I'm not going anywhere. When he says crusty anchor, I think he means like with barnacles and like ocean crust. Which I believe is a brand of soda. No, ocean crust. There is, um, ocean, ocean something. It's like cranberry juice or something. Ocean spray. Yeah, there you go. Was this pyramid built here? Or up there? Why would you build something so deep down here? These are the things that keep me up at night. Those platforms are looking real curious right now, though. When things become lost, they are reclaimed by the deep ocean. Thoughts, material items, civilizations, all here. You never know what you'll find. Some would say something like that is unfathomable. <gasps> the anchor now. It's like a fucking Reaper Leviathan over there. Hey man, what's the rush? Just chill, hang out, relax. The cola the coelacanth you see above you are mega passive. Just doing their thing. Forget about all that, man. Pull up a statue. Pow wow with me and my friend here. That one's smoking seaweed. Check that out, a big old anchor. Well, not too exciting, I guess. Uh, well, the dig continues. I'll let you take it off my hands. Maybe someone will have more of an interest in it than me. Massive iron anchor. Clad with a thick coat of rust and sea crud. <laughs> rust and sea crud. You somehow pick it up and shove it into your pocket. That's just dreams. Vinny, can you stop reading and just explore the worlds? No. Now that's what I'm talking about. That one is a good looking anchor. I'll set it up in front. I'll set it up front and center for all the world to see. 
Thanks for nabbing that for me. My prized possession, you ask? Climb those platforms over there by the pyramid, and you'll find it at the tip top. I just need to read better. I'll try to read better. How's that? I'll make a... I'll make a bargain. Can you read in an underwater voice? No! There is definitely a VST for that. I just don't feel like setting it up right now. I'd probably have to spend like a good 10, 15 minutes on that. But there's usually a VST for everything. An underwater adventure? Wow. Whew, I'm winded. What brings you up here trying to check out that weird artifact? Fair enough. Well, don't mind me. I'll just be admiring the foggy scenery. Vinny, do you like horseradish? I, a little bit. I like the spicy Chinese mustard. I don't know if that's got like horseradish in it, but it clears out your sinuses all the same. I accidentally thought that a little like, um, like ball of wasabi was part of the asparagus roll I was eating a couple days ago. And... I... Yeah, it's a, it's going exactly where you think it is. Before I could chew... or really get the wasabi, I, went, I ran to the sink and flushed my water... my mouth out with water. I succeeded. I flushed my water, that's true. Did you know the dev is a huge fan of 90s 3D games, if you haven't already guessed? Their favorite titles include Mega Man Legends, Silent Hill, Mario 64, and LSD Dream Emulator, just to name a few. Okay. You gonna help me trim these hedges? Ah, uh, don't bother! If it's one thing I don't need, it's someone messing things up. All these young folks sleeping all day, wearing their fancy knickknacks. Back in my day, we landscaped till the sun came up. That was our entertainment. Do not fear the mind labyrinth. It is only a singular passage. Life gets compared to a lot of things, you know. A beach, a game, or something about lemons. I think it's mostly like a big maze. I mean, think about it. Put all those other things in a maze, and I think you get a better comparison. Just talking about it is making my head spin. Danny boy! Looking for crusty textures, but I don't see anything yet. So tired, so sleepy, so comfy. You should find another way. Mr. Dink, please move. The footsteps in this game are not nearly as, um, Intrusive, or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, as LSD Dream Emulator? Abrasive. Painful. Crunchy. Thank you. Annoying. That's a better word. Hefty looking chest is sitting here. You swear you've seen it before. Try opening it, but it's locked. So I'm gonna find a key. Capcom worked hard on these sounds. They're from Mega Man Legends.
Do not lick or touch. You lick the maize plant, shame on you. Fool me once. Shame on. Shame on you. Fool me. If you, if you fool me once, you can't fool again. You look like someone that can't get where they need to be. Let me guess, my bro is in the way again. Yep. I'll have a move for you. Catch you later, bub. This could have been a secret wall. Oh wait, no. No, it's just grass. It, it's part of the design. What do we get back here? Oh, okay. I was a little confused there, but... Vinny, what is scrotine? Oh, scrotine is like protein, but it's like little animals. Was I in the way? Sorry. I get so tired lazing around all day. I feel bad now, I know. I'll make it up to you with the gift. Take my old skeleton key. I never found out what it went to. find a shiny golden coin inside the chest. It's just the texture of a quarter. Huh. Yeah, it was a two-headed quarter. There was a, s a small period of time in my life when I was in high school. I had a friend that collected coins and he educated me on, like, misprints and, like, different types of coins and I went through, like, I had this bag of coins of just all rare, like, weird, misprinted coins. And, like, for, like, maybe six months of my life, I was just looking out for anything that might be valuable. And I ended up, you know, finding some stuff. But nothing, like, that valuable. But he informed me. I don't remember much of it because it's been, Christ, 15 years. Um, but I, I learned about all, all these weird versions of popular coins. It was interesting. You flip the coin you found into the fountain. Your wish will forever remain a secret. Do you still have the coins? I believe I do. Is he the friend who taught you about coin gloves? I taught him about coin gloves. Vinny, thank you for your two cents on that. You're welcome. I mean, I've showed you my Pokemans collection, the cards, so if I ever find my coins, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Did you know I was the first model the dev made and animated when production began? The idea of a cute white rabbit leading you around dreams sounded very Alice in Wonderland, so I was born. My name, Goji. My name, Grogu, is derived from the game's title, Hypnagogia. And you pronounce it Hypnagogia. 
I clapped. Oh, this one's cool. Someone in chat said the meta-ness kills the mood. It's only those rabbits, though, there. I mean, you could avoid them, but I'm not. I'm just gonna read them. It might a little bit. I mean, it takes you out of the game a little bit. I understand where you're coming from. It's just like an insight into the development of the game. Here's what I would say, and I'm not the dev. I'm just some fucking asshole that plays video games on the internet. I would say it would be a cool optional mode. Dev commentary mode. Is this the end of the world? Or the end of something more metaphorical? The weather's not doing us any favors, so I don't think about it too hard. It's a scary world out there, especially if your world... If it's your world that's in the mix. Strangers may try to fool you, but they have no control over your choices. There's a cool... Easter egg in this level. Let me know if you need help finding it. Okay. Oh, Dev is actually in chat. Well, this is my favorite world so far. I like oppressive dystopian worlds, I can't help it. As long as I stay here, I stay warm. Need that fire. You can't have any. I wish I could give you some, but I can't. If I gave you any, how would I keep warm? Give me a break here. Vinny, now make the reference so I can chug this whiskey. Well, there is a Blade Runner mod for Serious Sam 2017, which I downloaded, and it looks incredible. I will be streaming that this week. So you can take your shot, and you can look forward to something really cool during the week. I lost nearly everything after the flood. Left my house in shambles, as you can see. All I have left is this chair and a bunch of soggy books. Only one of which is actually dry and legible. Dictionary of all things. Maybe they'll be worth something to someone and I can't get back on my- and- AND I can get back on my feet. It's a clone trooper. Yeah, <laughs> it kinda looks like one. Go away, we're full up. Are you here to check this thing out, too? Yeah, weird-looking structure. Always been here for some reason. No clue what's at the end of it. I would give it a go, but, you know, I'm not really feeling it. If you're brave enough to hop over there, let me know if you find anything. Cool, so where's the Easter egg? There's an overwhelming amount of ways to keep ourselves entertained nowadays, although I yearn for the good old days where we just sat back and read a book. Books. Those seem to be in pretty short supply lately. Tell you what, if you go find me a nice book to read, I'll give you a hint. Seems like a fair trade, right? Knowledge for knowledge. Directly to the right of where you started is where the Easter egg is. Okay. Thank you, Dev. You're looking for a book. I can sell you my dictionary. It's all I got. No money on you. Ah, who am I kidding? It's not worth anything anyways. It's yours. Just take it. I never learned anything from it. I left it over by that bookshelf. Have fun. Marin Jebster's Collegiate Dictionary. Second edition, 1990. Ah, oh, I remember back in my day when I was an English major. When we studied dictionaries. We just went through one word a day, sometimes two. We never got past the A's. 
There's so much garbage strewn about all the time. The floor you're walking on right now, made of garbage. These clothes I'm wearing, complete garbage. Why bother recycling our trash when we can just make new trash? Endless trash. A dictionary. Is that your idea of a hilarious joke? <sighs> Wasn't what I had in mind when I mentioned entertainment, but better than nothing, I guess. If anything, should make a good kindling. Now for my equally disappointing hint, the edge of this town is a concrete structure covered in graffiti. It's been there longer than I can remember, and no one's been brave enough to explore it. Everyone says they've seen some kind of shining object at the end of it. You should go check it out. Strange, um, ambient soundtrack here. So we're gonna, um, go this way for the easter egg. Is that a ladder? Nope, not a ladder. Okay. This is one of those things that... <clears throat> you just don't expect. I didn't know that this game had any association. But then again, the dev is here, so... Thank you for the shout-out. That's really cool. How come I wasn't getting a shout-out in Faces of Evil? I want... you know, how come I'm not in that game? Man. Dang kids and their tags. You were, actually? He doesn't know chat? What? I w no, thank you, Dev. I appreciate the shout-out. <laughs> I don't think I was. Was there... Was there a mushroom? Was there trash? Was there... Oh, it was Japes. The whole game is a Vine Sauce reference? Well, um... Vine Sauce was founded on YouTube poops and trash on some level, right? To some extent. So, some could say that the Zelda CDI experiences were proto-Vine Sauce, which is taking a lot of credit, because all I do is just play video games, but anyway. I enjoy YouTube poops. Oh, God. A few of your emotes were in the game. Oh, I have to get the book again. Oh no. Oh, god damn it. Wait, so I actually, I have to talk to the person again, and then get the book, and then talk to the person again? Platforming Master Vinny ruins everything. And I'm already lost. Did not take long. second. When's your next science video, Vsauce? I keep watching your stream, but you don't talk about science much while I'm here. 
Oh, I know a lot about science. Did you know that the, um, the Earth cromulates around a, uh, mag magmetic core? It's true. A scum grub can live up to 15 cycles, citizen. But only when properly radiated. Yep, you can send subspace transmissions to small offices in Scranton, PA. Worf loses at Hopscotch and asks Michael Scott to kill him to retain his honor. Hilarity ensues. Dwight and Worf have arguments about Klingon tradition and Klingon opera. Did you know hypnagogia is a term used to describe the transition between wakefulness and sleep? During the state, people have experienced strange hallucinations, lucid dreams, but scariest of all, sleep paralysis. The themes of this game are an attempt at depicting dreams while induced by the state. So chat, how's your sleep paralysis demon doing these days? Find the figure. It's another one of them creepy ones. The old, withered clock's hands are s stuck on 1201. You can still hear the ticking of the pendulum. It's not always feasible to live in your safe zone, you know? Sometimes you gotta leave it for a little. Ease out into the unknown. There's a certain staleness in the air when we are... when we're comfortable, uncomfortable, or lost. Looking past it, and moving on is the best you can do. Whoever in chat said that Germa was their sleep paralysis demon... I'm gonna tell him you said that. It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. Um, let's see. I like this. Looks like the lock is broken. So that's room 000. There's multiple room 000s. I still watch my old favorite shows. Every chance I get on repeat all day. It's the only way I can truly tune out all the bad noise that surrounds me. I don't care how much it melts my brain, it's satisfying hearing familiar things. It's- whoa! No, I- listen. It's the office, chat. It's- you're making- you're saying it's me and Star Trek. But hang on a minute. A little bit. But some people, like, watch The Office. They stop and start and stop and start and stop and start. Ever, fin uh, ever feel like you've been stuck somewhere for seemingly forever? It's like the exit's right behind me, but I can't see it. I'm so comfortable here, though. It's hard to explain in words. I have everything I need here. It's my perfect private paradise. Sharing it with other people just leaves me vulnerable. I don't want that. No! It's happened before. It'll happen again. Why bother risking it? What are you linking me to? Stop linking me to weird stuff. I know! 
Okay. I know. Endless channels, media sounds. It all gets a bit mushy after a while. I have nothing new to listen to. I need a new sound, something to help me sleep. If I had a radio or something, it would put me at ease again. Can you help me fill the void with something pleasant for once? I can help. Skunjili man. Skunjili man. Skunjili man. Oh! There's a radio here. Is it broken? I can barely make out some different broadcasts, but it's mostly just static. Tuning it doesn't do anything. It's stuck on the same frequency. You take the radio. White noise helps. I mean, I wouldn't want to listen to a broken, staticky radio or TV, but white noise definitely helps me sleep. Finally, some soothing sounds. I feel a little more complete than before. Maybe now I can sleep again. Maybe now I can wake up. Thank you. I hope you find a noise that suits you, too. Chat has. Spee! Or the noise that follows, do you want to talk about dedication? Someone in chat is like, I can't sleep without reverb farts playing in my ears at night. Whatever gets you through the night. It's alright. It's alright. There are some vending machines here. You don't have any money, though. Besides, the products look a little gray and bland. No thanks. When was the last time I shaved? My reflection is there, but the glass is fogged. You won't find anything interesting here. No one will probably even get this far. I'm so hungry, but I'm too tired to make anything. There's a tunnel over there. I'd go with you, but I have to stay here. Can't ever leave. Take care. Hungry, but too tired to cook. The struggle is real. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm just too lazy to cook. But also, since I can't really, fr like, use pans anymore. Um, like, by frying stuff. It's just stuff in, like, um, the slow cooker or oven. I've just been too lazy. Why can't I use pans? Um, because cooking oil. And not every dish, like, can you cover so that the oil doesn't go up? It kind of ruins some food. Give me your dreams. This door doesn't feel real, more like it's painted on and you can't leave. Weird. Yeah. 
why can't you use oil? Because I was doing Blue Apron for a couple of years, and I noticed that there was a thin layer of cooking oil caked onto various objects around my place because it's small and my kitchen is right near my computer. And that includes my guitars. Oh, I had a fan. I had a fan on the whole time. I had the windows open. Did you know there's an entire commentary script within the game folder written by the dev? This is like the 50th oily guitar conversation this year. Not really 50th, nor this year. Oh god, this is my nightmare. Late for class. If you ever find yourself cold and alone, cling to something, anything, it doesn't matter if you forgot the answers to that one test. No one blames you when you were late to that one meeting. It's all just a bunch of numbers. Pointless records and data entries. The rock we live on rotates another day. It's going to be okay. There's a weird figure in the distance. Oh, that was creepy. This one's good. This is still a recurring dream I have, and in fact, recently, I had a dream I was in a high school that was like four, like, stories high, but there was like, um, a main room, like a mall, where you could look over from the fourth floor to the bottom floor. Fourth. To forced. And uh, I remember the office was closed because of COVID, but I was still late to classes and my test. And uh, the hallways were very, like, um, they were very claustrophobic, and there was a bar. But the bar was returning to normal. In, in the dream, there was a bar in the high school, and people were there, and they were smoking at the bar. Oh my god. Okay, they were smoking cigarettes and drinking, but it was closed for a long time, and they were finally opening this bar again. There's a chain link fence blocking the path. It feels completely immovable, like it's frozen in time. Also, the swimming pool and the gym were on the fourth floor. So that doesn't seem like a good idea, but that's what I remember. There's some vending machines here. You need money to buy anything. They're stocked with what? Some kind of meat. Doesn't look very appetizing. There's a big secret in this level. It's very Silent Hill. Just noticed the clouds were upside down. This lifeless mannequin is hungry. Maybe some food will satisfy it. Coin? Strange familiar coin here. It looks like a quarter, but it's thick and heavy. You take it. This lifeless mannequin feels unfulfilled. This lifeless mannequin wants to go home. In the dream, I wanted nothing more than to go home. The school dream. This might have been like two nights ago. I've been to this like school before. There's like a variation of this particular school. It's not the one it's not any of the schools I went to, but yet it has elements of every school I've ever gone to. And I wanted to go home, and I wanted to, um... I, but I couldn't, for some reason. I don't know why I couldn't.
Yeah, maybe because classes weren't over, but... I don't know, it's just one of those things that happens where you just feel stuck. Like, you can't even, like, leave the building. In my dream, I couldn't even leave the building. Large hunk of meat fell out of the dispenser. Cartoon meat. You're not able to discern something something about the meat. I'm sorry I missed it. You take the meat, the mannequin will probably want this. That was like Zelda 1 meat that you give to the Moblin. You give the hunk of meat to the mannequin. This lifeless mannequin is now tired. You feel a wave of intense foreboding overtake your body. Okay, um... Before I exit this dream, though, I definitely want to make sure I check out the secret. Oh. I think this is the best one yet. The lighting is excellent. You're not able to discern from its appearance what animal it may have come from. So the secret is behind the hungry mannequin. Yeah, maybe there's some long pig? Oh shit, big secret. What's this? There's a beautiful snow globe sitting on the desk. While peering deeply into it, you feel an icy shiver run down your neck. I love this music. What a blisteringly blinding field of wintry goodness. Bit of a stark contrast to where we just were, isn't it? The delicate touch of snowflakes makes me feel all tingly inside. Let us forget our troubles and make friends of everyone we meet. Yep, this is just from Final Fantasy VII, this music. I can't wait to finish cooking. I've been waiting for hours. Warm meal on a cold day is something to never take for granted. Care for a helping of northern elk haunch? Almost done cooking. Sit with us by the fire if you're ever in need of companionship. <laughs> sorry about that. I tried to mute. I pressed the button. It didn't mute. I'm very sniffly tonight. I'm sorry that you have to be subjected to the sniffles. Sniffle. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, you see? It's me. I don't think I have a cold. I'm pretty sure I just have allergies, but... It's so boring in the village. I wish I could go play with my friends. Some really good timing between some of my commentary and stuff that happened in the games tonight. I can't help but stay inside for days like this. Stay inside on days like this. It's maximum comfort. Try to keep our life in the village simple and contained. It's not much, but it helps to have a moderately carefree outlook on things sometimes. Arctic Jawas? Well, they're not Arctic monkeys. Damn it, chat. Maybe we should warm up by the fireside. Also, do I want to know how many negative points I have?
trying to break my record for most times sledded downhill with no sled. So far, I think I'm on number a thousand. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. I could lay here all day. I've been used to the cold my whole life, so it's comfortable. Besides, who doesn't like to waft around in the snow every so often? I do have some good memories of snow days. We're not very good at making snow angels. Sometimes we just need an excuse to fall into a snowbank, though. I remember playing Skies of Arcadia for the first time. Well, not the first time, but like, you know, my first playthrough. One of the most memorable ones was during a big snowstorm. And I didn't have school that day. So, that will always be a good memory. What should we name you, Mr. Snowman? How about Sir Watson Maxwell Brimsley III? Ah yes, the fancy and refined Mr. Brimsley the <laughs> Third. You'll be right proper soon. You spoke with our sick friend. I guess she's still stuck at home. Maybe you, you could help us finish, Mr. Snowman. We just need some good sticky snow to roll the head. I hear that plateau over there has the best snow. Vinny, what would you say is your most irrational fear? Oh, baboons? No, I mean, it's a good fear. Like, it, right? Like, because, you know, you don't want to get near baboons. But it's irrational because are there really going to be fucking baboons in New York? Probably not. There's buffoons. A lot of them drive. Whoa! So what plateau? Um, what was I looking for? This one? Is this a plateau? I guess this is a plateau. Many at hand, O oh skeletal grand. You push the roll of snow off the cliff. What the fuck is the lyric to Plateau? Many at hand, O oh skeletal grand. What- what is the name- What is skeletal grand? Is that the- that's the lyric I thought was always- Have scaled the grand. <laughs> that's one of those things that you hear as a kid, and then that lyric is just forever cemented in your head. The ball has collected a bunch of snow and is fit enough for a snowman. Yeah, I should just use Skeletal Grand in one of my songs now, just because I thought I heard that when I was a kid in the Plateau song. You got enough snow to make a head for our buddy here. They need some features. If anyone should have the things to make the eyes, nose, and mouth, our sick friend should. For me, it was, you'll remember me when the western moose among the fields of barley for fields of gold. Good lyrics, dude. My mute button's not working now. It's working again. Um... What? So the person with the sniffles, right? Just need to find them. Also, I hope we have enough time for some of the Saturn pack. It's the, the igloo, right? I, I didn't know which one it was. Because there's multiple igloos. I'm gonna see if I can do as much of the Saturn stuff as possible, but if it takes too long, then I'll just save it for another week and I'll give it more attention. I'll start with it.
igloo behind the meat fire. All right. That's a great looking snowball. Well, more like a snow boulder. Here, I'll put this carrot and a bunch of buttons on it. That should give him a, a cute face. Take the head over to my friends and they should be able to finish the snowman now. Completed snowman head, it looks great. You take I like the sneeze sound. Minor long That one's just like My sneezes are kind of violent. We finished the snowman. Thanks for all your help, Traveler. You should go speak with our elder. She lives atop the mountain up north. Be careful getting up there. It's a tricky climb. Good luck. I like this area. I like these these little lads. They're fun. This is the complete opposite of the high school experience from earlier. Please look at the finished snowman. There it is! Sorry. Oh, that one! Oh! I forgot to look at the snowman. Well, you can kind of piece it together in your mind. You saw the head. Yeah, if you need to get a telescope to see it, then just, I'll wait. Yeah, if you use a telescope on a computer screen, you can enhance. Hmm, what's this? A strange visitor from faraway land come to my mountaintop hut? How interesting. Surely you didn't make this trip all the way up here for nothing. Forgive me, an old woman grows cold. Fetch me my tea, would you? It's on the fire. Thank you. Have you ever had snow tea? It's exactly what you think it is. All natural. Anyways, I believe I know why you're here and what you seek. Dreaming is a marvelous thing, no? One minute you're fast asleep without a care in the world. The next you're dug deep into something weird and sinister that you can't escape or explain. Where do all these thoughts come from? I want to think it doesn't matter so much. Either way, the dreams happen, whether we want them to or not. I know the journey you're on is often wrought with confusion and frightening things. You're almost through, my dear. Dreams and nightmares don't last forever. I will provide you with a way to return, where you may finish your travels. Outside you'll find a crystal. Touch it when you wish to leave this place. Keep yourself warm during these cold days. A cup of hot tea can go a long way. Goodbye. I have lots of tea. I have so much tea that people have sent me, or that I have purchased. I like this. This was a good area, too. There's a lot of good areas in this game. Oh, great. <laughs> well, <laughs> school's in. Yet. Do I have to do this stuff again? Just my luck. Wow, oh, you're really it. Just my luck. No recess. Uh, 
That song is just the school dream. If you... <laughs> um... I can't believe I'm going to recommend a Nirvana song, because people just have these loaded expectations of Nirvana, or they're overrated, whatever, and that's fine. But, uh, if you want to hear a song that very nicely personifies the, um, unending high school dreams, listen to School by Nirvana. It's on their first album. It's good. It's probably one of my favorite songs of theirs. Nir- Nirburner. Right, that's them. Yep. Big Cheese is good, too. Yeah, that's another good one. Oh, no! How long is this? Um... Not much longer. Not much longer at all. I think we're just about done with it. One dream left. Did you know the dev has other games that they've made that you can play for free on their itch <laughs> itch.io page? That's cool. Kind of takes me out of the world a little bit, but that's okay. Prison of Souls. Oh shit. They're trying to keep you from waking up. I won't let them. The passage to wakefulness must be protected at all costs. Whatever it takes, don't listen or look at them. Focus your mind and clear your thoughts. You'll wake up soon. I just want to say thank God for the snow section, because we needed some levity. Between this and the school dream, things got, got real dark. and wobbly. Is this even still a dream? I'm feeling hot and uncomfortable. Please help me wake up. here? What did I do wrong? I did everything right. Why are the walls closing in? I don't belong here, but where do I belong? I don't remember. The air is thick and damp. It's getting hard to breathe. It's a good thing you have on a wetsuit. This nightmare will be eaten. Fuck. Womp's Fortress. Can you hear the keys? Can you hear me, like, mashing away on that keyboard? Just need to find a good rhythm. This is a really good keyboard, but it can be a little noisy. Oh, should I have talked to the big rabbit?
You can't. Okay, never mind. You can't. Oh, and there's an ending, too. For a dream game like this, you wouldn't expect an ending or, like, a, a final dream. I think this is kind of a unique version of LSD, because LSD and various other games I've played are more freeform. And this one, you get the uh, Chaos Emeralds. But I do like this. I, I, I think it's um really interesting. Good dreams. That school one definitely had a lot of um, relevance in my life. And uh, some of the early ones dragged a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, shit, was I muted? How long was I muted for? The entire credits? How the fuck does this keep happening? I guess I put the keyboard down and, like, hit the button. Well, what I wanted to say was, if you missed it, I was just saying, um, I liked the game. I liked a lot of the levels, I thought it was really cool. It was enjoyable, it was chill, it's the type of Sunday stream game I like, and I like that it differentiated itself from LSD by being a more linear game. And, um, some of the dreams actually felt really... I don't know, like, there was just a commonality between them and my dreams. And, uh, it was good. I liked the ice dream a lot, I liked the school dream, and the, the rainy world. So, this was cool. And, good... Good music, good atmosphere. I know I'm not muted, because here's why. I can say a funny word, and chat will mimic it. Spin. So, anyway, no, thank you for making this, and thank you, Scoot, for checking it out. Thank you, whoever recommended it, and it was pretty cool.